Hello and welcome to August 13th, KR at 148%. Before we continue, we still got the bad news. The Cassock's at nine, minus 9.3. And that, of course, is against a 19.4 for the SPY. And here is the numbers on the negative side. Telby broke through his support, which I'll be talking about in the next video. And uh, again, planned is still, we're still at the initial stop. There is not going to be any change in those rules. In fact, you can see Telray right there, but we'll, like I said, we're going to talk more about that when it turn comes up. So on to KR. And then the other, I'm sorry, before we go to KR, the other drags are, of course, Yelp at 50 minus and AT&T at minus 58. And according to Courtney Smith of Wall Street winners, uh, August is not going to be a very good month for us. Uh, we're not going to see any climb up until we get closer to the end of August and get into September. Okay, with that said, let's go on. Now we have KR here at 148%. And there it is, 148%. That takes us to 630. 634 on the pod, on the profit side and uh, against an ode of 2130 and again i remind you that if this was a trade with no odes essentially you are doing just scans and doing trades which we're doing in filter testing um this would be 634 dollars to your good on two contracts and if that was uh if that had been 10 contracts that would be uh about 3150 so there you, there you are that the uh, that is working. And again, if we can get rid of, once we get rid of these two in November, October, we'll start seeing better returns because we will not be doing any more original, uh, original date to expiration trading plan that does not have stops. We will be using stops. And as you, as you know, we have the seven rules already established. So uh, KR 148 going on to PG. And here at PG, it had a nice little move up. It got to 95.88. So it's ready to close in on 100 ROI. And then I will have to expand the time zone. And what you do to do, do there, go to D for time, D with the so date, daily time frame. And then you can go to three months right there. And now you can see our entry was way back here on this trade back in June 25, right there. And uh, you can see that that's where we're at. And then the tense ratio is really way up here at 161. So uh, this is gonna be definitely looking like it's gonna be going all the way to DTE. Uh, with that said enough, we have crossed the third ratio, but we haven't cleared it enough to be able to put a third ratio protector just yet. We have to get up to at least a five or six ratio to go ahead and put a three to one protector to, to be able to follow rules one and two. Rule, rule one is protect capital. Rule two is protect profit. Okay, uh, that takes your PG and a little bit going, we'll be able to have another 100 ROI in the field. Our next positive one is RTX and RTX is, they're at Raytheon, and it's just hovering every so I'll go ahead and reset the reset, and there we are at the reset, and it's just holding on. Now we have our stop is at 8484, which is at EPS. Okay, that said, and we already, and then XLB fell even further down at minus 18%. So we had two exits today. One was McDonald's and RCL. Uh, we're going to go to McDonald's first because that was a put, and uh, that exited with a profit. <laughs> Not much of a profit, but still, the bottom line is, look at our buying power. We have moved up to $1,000 in buying power. And unfortunately, we took a major hit today and falling back to 5,000, uh, almost 5,000 even. And that puts us now at $500 for a allocation of trade. So we are good for about maybe two trades, depending upon how close are they to the uh, to their 5%, their $500 limit. So uh, here at McDonald's, we had that reversal and it did, did touch our ratio and we got out with a profit exit of a 0.7%. Now, granted, it's not a big percentage, but the important part is that we've made defense. We got a touch of profit, not big, a couple of dollars. I'll explain that in a minute. But the bottom line is we got our buying capital back. This cost us 450 and we got back our 450, which went back to the to the buying power. 
so here we got so here's the D, the numbers for McDonald's exit. It's five dollars with one contract minus two fees for three dollars in profit, dropping down the oil from fourteen thirty one to fourteen twenty eight, and that is the numbers from McDonald's. Going to RCL, that got stopped out in the negative, and that was an EPS. That was right there. Uh, there it is, EPS. There's our EPS right there, and um, so the EPS is uh, the EPS got stopped got stopped out, and it resulted in a uh, it resulted in a loss. There it is, and we got 19.5, essentially 20% loss right here, which is manageable. Uh, if you can keep your losses under 50% on options, it's very good because you can see that you can have good high options returns that will make up for it. I mean, we're running 95 on PG and 148 on KR. So uh, we got out a minus 110 loss, $2 in fee, minus 112 for the trade, 222, 22.25 carried on the low, on the loss. And for a new O of 2337. Okay, that said, and that is time now for scanner time. And that's going to be scanner time for the uh, for the alphas because the alphas now have a thousand dollars and we'll be doing forward testing scanning at forward testing video. So coming here, we are now going to load up in our in sequence our first trades, and that'll be the statistics uptrend. It defaults back to the alphas and one, one to 400 because that's how much it's in the alphas. You cover all the alphas and we'll go ahead and run the scan for the upside and see if we have any potentials. And the potentials are zero. So now we'll go up, up, load up to stochastic's downside and stochastic's downtrend. And remember this downtrend means that we're looking for the 10 EMA going in the same direction as stochastic's going down. And the answer is nothing. Okay, so that takes us now down to the Cassix with the 10, the close below the 10 EMA looking for puts in the alpha group. And the answer is nothing. And then we're gonna come to load up the 10 EMA Stochastics upside, which means price must close above the 10 EMA, but it does not take into account the trend. Oops, I have to pause here and take this call. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for the apologies there. Uh, so 21 million for AT&T, and AT&T is already in play. And uh, XLV, is XLV in play too? I think it is. Let's go check our... Uh, our positions. Oh, positions are right here. Uh, yes, XLB is in position. So we already have those two. So gold and then McDonald's. Look, so gold and McDonald's will be the two that will be in consideration. And uh, so let's go ahead and wrap that up. Come over here to the gold. We know that gold's going to have some, probably just some very good options. And there it is. Look, and a beautiful up uptrend and 10 closed above the 10. So that is going to be our setup here and our swing there. There's our swing low. It's a $6 spread. What's the ATR? ATR is $1.88. So what we'll be inclined is that once we, once we break, see, once we break past the trade, we'll move our stop to the, to the 50% uh, retracement. Uh, I, I know that you, the guys aren't familiar with that, but like I said earlier, when these things are too wide, we go we can go to 50% retracement to protect capital. All right, that said, and then over at McDonald's, I think McDonald's we know we got stopped out of, and so our and there it is, there it is. It's a perfect, beautiful textbook setup. And then if you're not to be from the high here. And that's not too bad. Okay, that's five dollars, and that's three dollars, so that's good. I like to keep the ATR about within two, two ATR range. When it's over two, over two uh, ATR range, then I will uh, look toward that fifty percent Fibonacci retracement as a possible possibility to protect capital. So, with that said, we already have now our positions, and we are already concluding the first part of today's report for 
KR, 148%. And we'll catch you on the next video with T-L-R-Y. And thank you for stopping by and checking it out.